fancy meeting you here, Cancer. How are you doing? I'm about to fuck up your life. <laughs> Not me personally, <laughs> but the energy that is going to be invigorated by the uh, moon as it moves through Aries. So I'm sorry I just said that to you. That was harsh. That was too much. But sometimes what happens with me is that I say things that are completely too much for water signs and that's on me. So please accept my apologies. You are a Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, perhaps south node in Cancer, perhaps. And you're here to get your celestial weather update for the week of September 28th, 2020. Today we have, uh, well, today I'm sharing the information with you. Rather, I channeled it, most of it last night and took notes. And so I'm actually reading that I have notes behind the um, camera that's on my phone. So you see me looking like this, I'm reading or checking my notes. And there's, um, there's some tension that the moon, some tense energy that the moon will be sort of awakening. And that is because of an angle that is made between Aries and Cancer that's known as a square. So that square aspect is tense. And if you've had a reading with me, you may have heard me say this, and that is there are no good or bad charts. There are some charts that contain more tension. And when I see that in a chart, what I usually say to myself and to others is that this person wants to or you right you're the person you're the client so i'm thinking to myself and then sharing with the individual there's a lot of potential here and this may be an ambitious soul the sorry my eyes are so itchy <laughs> the um angle that's going to be made in aries when the sun enters I'm sorry, when the moon enters Aries, it will go through the degrees one through 29, right? And if you're the cancer sign that I think you are because you're watching this video, you have something happening anywhere between zero and 29 degrees cancer. And so the moon will be full exactly at nine degrees at 2 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday afternoon Take a look in your chart and see where, um, for one thing, you're going to look at Aries and see what's happening in your chart in Aries territory, which house it's in, and if you have any planets there. And then you can take that information to understand that the full moon will be illuminating that part of your chart, bringing energy to that part of your chart, right? But then also, so if you have a placement at nine degrees cancer, that will be an exact square with the moon at that time that I just shared. And that, considering that the angle is a tense angle, right? And that there is um, some opportunity for tension to experience itself through you so that the experience of tension somehow coming through between cancer and Aries. One thing I've noticed as I interact with cancer signs is that I can be perceived as um, harsh or overly direct, crass even, and in a, perhaps inappropriate is one way to look at it. Where I perceive cancer signs as indirect and not or rarely asking for what they really want, which I find frustrating because I feel like I'm being manipulated. <laughs> so my sense is that something in those areas is going to come through. So Aries being courageously acting without thinking, that's like noticing that behavior in someone else that's really annoying to you and creating some sort of like inflammation in your feels where you become inflamed or irritated. And then the other way that it could manifest is as coming through you and you exhibiting those behaviors which you judge to be bad. Perhaps you even have a tendency to embody some of these behaviors. Maybe you've got some um, Aries in your chart. Maybe you have Aries in your chart and these are things that come through sometimes. Maybe you've got an Aries moon and you have a tendency to get like excited and act before you should. Um, 
whether you're observing those qualities in yourself and then they have a negative effect and you're upset or you're experiencing them in someone else and it causes what I'm seeing is that it's causing some kind of um, disruption to something that you need to get done it feels like it could be related to work or a project uh, da, 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 what else is in there it's trying to come through so someone also perhaps calling you it feels like perhaps a fire sign maybe an Aries calling you out I'm not being direct or maybe this this person you're experiencing that's getting on your nerves is being indirect as well. Sometimes it takes one to know one, right? Like it's not your greatest strength that you can be indirect. It is one of your greatest greatest strengths that you can be very sensitive and tender. Um, and that's part of why you end up being indirect, right? Is that your sensitivity will not allow you to be so direct for fear of hurting yourself or other people. But really take a look at that and consider that you have an opportunity to cease. Feels like there's, feels like something goes wrong. Manipulation is a part of it. Being indirect, um, indirectness can sometimes result in a miscommunication that creates an error. And then gossiping behind the person's back about what went wrong instead of speaking directly to them that's the trap to watch out for. So be impeccable with your word, say what you really mean, and do not, um, do not speak in a way that is speaking ill of other people, absolutely not. That will bite you in the butt, okay? The Aries willingness to act directly can be medicine for cancer. Cancer's intuitive gifts and sensitivity are essential in helping Aries to evolve into a more compassionate human being. We need that from Aries. Use the energy this week to explore direct action and bravery as a strategy instead of worry and concern. And finally, on Thursday evening with the full moon, actually, I'd love it if you can do this on Wednesday evening. With the full moon, make a big wish make a big wish, put it out there and understand that by Thursday evening, you're letting go of your attachment to the wish and giving it to the gods, giving it to source energy and letting that play out as it may. Okay. Thank you for being here. Love you. Bye-bye.